Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. Femi Fani Kayode has decided finally to apologize to the person of Charles Eyo, the assaulted journalist. And but unfortunately, Nigerians are not willing to accept his apology and they have gone further to tell him the reason why they will not accept his apology but before we go on with details of the news if not subscribe to our channel they currently hit on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you get notification anytime we publish our videos all right as of yesterday he had uh, opened up i'm talking about femi fani kayode the former aviation minister had told nigerians that he was insulted and tried to prove a point and went for that to say he will not apologize despite the fact that daily post came very strong behind the uh, um, journalists going even as far as threatening him and what was the trade that in event of anything happening to charles ayo the assaulted journalist that he will be you know um sued and also nuj came in to express also their anger towards it but even as a dad yesterday he still said no he wouldn't apologize but this morning at the, in his twitter page he has decided to come up with some words which sound really really apologetic though some person say it's not good enough now i'm going to read his tweet he said i met with my advisors and i wish to say the following i hereby withdraw the word stupid which i use in my encounter with a journalist in Calabar. i have many friends in the media who i offended by losing my cool and using such words i hereby express my regret for doing so i will never seek to physically harm a journalist for the last 30 years i've defended and worked with journalists and fought for the right of freedom of expression i am also very close to many in that profession i would be the last person to seek to these barrage those that are honorable and noble within the ranks i hope that these will assure the pains and anger of anyone that was hurt or offended by this ugly episode i have now put this matter behind me and move on now my tour of the south continues moving to another state those were the words he said and uh, but nigerians have decided to also come out with um, something far stronger reasons why they can't accept that apology nigerians are saying that in as much as femi fani kayode assaulted the journalist in a video not in his twitter page they are demanding that he should do a video because nobody is putting that behind as the assaulted video behind if you must be apologetic you must also do a video and possibly with the journalists available so that we can understand how sorry you are but i don't think that at this point that uh, he will condescend that low to apologizing to that you know extent owing to the fact that um, a lot of things it will be like him swallowing his pride he has done his best to go on the twitter to do all of that and, and um right now people have started calling for certain things that he had said about different persons that what he called insult was actually not an insult because if the, it were an insult then how about the things that he has said against the likes of Osibanjo and they call off one of his old write-ups you know and uh, the person says here that's Femi Fani Kayode at one time had told uh, Osibanjo you are a short evil and wicked man and you are not a real pastor your heart is as dark as hell and by the time this is all over Nigeria will know that you are the most duplicitous creature and evil beast that they have ever had the misfortune of having to put up with mm. those were strong words they started calling up a lot of things that he had uh, you know written uh, another occasion here he said that's on october 19 2019 the same Banjo, he said i disagree prof profoundly with the world's view of men like zagon dora 
Maman Dwara Abakari and Lawal Dwara, but I would not describe them as evil. I have known them all for over 30 years, and I can testify to that. The evil one is the short pastor who pretend to be an angel. Strong words he said against um, the person of Osimba and Joshua. Right now, they are calling for all of that. When Osimba uh, also had an issue with Frank Timmy, he said something like, "If you are really a man, don't just wave your, don't just wave your immunity to sue Timmy Frank, but resign from your position and take him on man." to man. He will eat you for a breakfast. I know that young man, he is a real idiot, deeply courageous and tough as nail. You cannot intimidate him or break him. A lot of things he said about Bill Gates yesterday, it was on the internet. If you want to know the history of all of this, just go through our feed. You see different videos that we have done about the same issue of him shredding a journalist. So, but right now, I, I don't think that uh, he will give in to the request of the public because that will be like uh, what Nigerians would explain or describe as falling of hands. He will not want to for his hands to that extent instead i feel that at this point that he will tell the guy to comment possibly to be granted an interview ways he will say possibly that uh, uh femi fanikai or they had called him and apologized and all of that now about this guy too that was being talked down talking about the charles Ayo, the journalist for daily trust the guy had also made some statement and um, according to him he said that he can never disrespect the person of uh, um ffk that ffk is a public figure and that not just that but he himself is a bishop in a lumba lumba bu most of you may not know uh, the name of that church but it's one of the mm, a great church here in the south south most people in south south they know about it it has a lot of funny underground stories and all of that but the man said he's a member a bishop not just a member of a lumba lumba bu that he's a bishop and he's from a very modest um background so he would not want to do anything stupid against the person of ffk nigerians are not resting people are talking and uh, i think at this point that uh ffk has regretted um what he did and i feel that uh, nigerians should please forgive him you know he, they, they should have forgive him this person here said i cannot be held responsible for the safety of this rude young man because i do not know what he does or who or who else he may have insulted robbed cheated or offended i do not know whether he's a thief a murderer a murderer i do not know who may be after him if anyone at all and neither do i care it's present or future travel if any have absolutely nothing to do with me those are the words another words from you know um the person of ffk somebody is trying to quote one of those things that he he said another person here says laugh out loud he can shove the apology up femi broke shamed the man asking him whose son he is and he keeps shouting do you know who i am if femi of all people that criticize people using violent and uncoated word can get annoyed by a simple question then he should step aside it means he doesn't really hate op oppression. He hates being the one oppressed. I hope NUJ can see this and not invite him in the future because he clearly disrespected him, them. As for the other journalists, they are no even savvy waiting to talk. If they actually know their onions, they should have asked him the same question. If you don't see anything wrong with what FFK did, you are just a double-faced hypocrite and also a slicker. This one said here, I want to see if he will still continue his unprovoked attack on people whose ideology and views are different from his. After he has shown up all that he can't take a pinch of his slanderous and liberious attack on other people, he is a selfish, non-altruistic and egoistic a hypocrite with no respect for freedom of expression which he himself had been abusing what 
baffles me is the fact that no PDP person has made a comment about their scandalous act of Femi, but if it was the other way around, the media would have been agog with different barrage of insensitive comment and insults from the PDP folk. I am also against with the fact that some dimbat here are defending the shameful acts. So many people are saying different things. What do you have to say? Do you think the apology is good enough? Go to our comment section.